Nomadic Fanatic leads everyone to believe that he is happy and carefree, when in reality, he's having a Christmas meltdown. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you got to uh, either chill and relax or spend time with friends and family. However you spent it, I hope it was the way you wanted it to go. All right, let's just jump in this real quick. Let's run through a whole bunch of stuff, and then we'll get to it. All right, we had, uh, let's see, Lori's Way. Uh, she had her Christmas Eve potluck. Everything dried out in time, and they got that done. Uh, there was a little bit of stuff on her uh, flooring, whatever, their tarps or whatever she had laid down. But it was dry, and she just didn't have time to wet it down and get it all cleaned up. But everything dried up, and they did have the Christmas Eve little potluck there at Lori's Way. And we have Morgan, the Unstoppable One, her True Mo Show channel now. Uh, she's been doing her um, Don't Spend the Holidays Alone live stream. So she's been doing them pretty much daily, as well as Tracy uh, from Adventures Over 50. She's been doing the Vlogmas thing. She was doing uh, vlogs every day for Christmas. Uh, she had a live stream the other night. Her and her friend were on. Did a little live stream. I hung out in there for a little bit and watched uh, pretty good stuff. So go and check out Tracy. Uh, let's see. What else? Christmas. Uh, Campulance Man. He opened a bunch of packages while the dog barked and uh, bit and pawed at the packages. And <laughs> him yelling at the dog to stop. And uh, Yeah, it was. It's Campulance Man. Static Camper Van. Yeah, he did a live stream last night. Pretty good stuff. I popped in there for a while. Had a little chit-chat. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from Static Camper Van. Good dude. Good dude. Go over and check him out for sure. Uh, let's see. What else been going on? Badge. Badge. He uh, did a little video. And it is all about Starlink. No, no. Don't get all excited. No, he's not doing some kind of promotion thing. He's not being sponsored by or anything. He's just telling you what... Uh, his experience is what the Starlink, why he has it, why he chose it, why he's keeping it. So if you want to know from someone who's not trying to sell you shit, go over and check out Badge and see what he has to say about Starlink. All right, that takes us to Anna's Adventures. Uh, Anna's been, been cranking out the videos pretty regularly. Her channel's growing. So I encourage you to go over and check her out if you haven't already. <sighs> She has been getting pretty comical, pretty funny lately. Good stuff, good stuff. She is uh, leaving Quartzsite, so go over and see where she's headed to. But yes, her and her little wiener dog, Roxy, they've been having a good time just enjoying the uh, winter and Quartzsite. But yep, she's heading out of Quartzsite. So where will she go? I don't know. We'll have to go over and keep our eye on Anna and find out what she gets up to next. But yeah, go over and check her out. Very, very cool young lady. <laughs> Fun channel. Like I said, she's been getting pretty, pretty funny. He's a little, she got jokes, yo. She got jokes. All right, let's talk about it. This is what we're all here for, right? Right? This is what we're here for. It's for Tater. Tater has a Christmas meltdown. Uh, well, you know how Tater is. He's, <laughs> he's Tater. Some people watching because they like him. Some people watching to fall on his face. Well, as we all know, Tater, he often brags about being spontaneous. He is just so, so spontaneous. But then when things don't go exactly as he wants or as he hopes or expects, he has a little meltdown. If you don't know by now on this channel, I am one of the most spontaneous people persons you've probably ever met in your life that's I right love my lifestyle where Loves i can it. just wake up and then five minutes later go on this incredible new path and then well news flash <laughs> you don't have to be a nomad to be spontaneous and be able to wake up and go do whatever <laughs> i know lots of people that live in houses they're retired or whatever or they have time and they have money and they go, I'm going to use some of this personal time, vacation time, and I'm going to get up and I'm going to go. Or again, if they're retired, they go, hey, hey, honey, what are we do? Let's go. And they go. So you, you don't have to live in a vehicle to be able to get up and go. But 
again, I'm off topic. Let's get back to Tater, shall we? Now, Mr. Spontaneous, he, he, he bought the land and rushed through everything because, you know, <laughs> he has to have it now. He didn't use any of it for content, really, to be honest with you, did he? I mean, he did a little bit, but but not really, you know. Look, I'm getting stone delivered. Oh, look, I got water tanks delivered. Oh, look, I, I moved them because I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and there's bathed blue box and blah, 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 blah. But he didn't really use it for content, you know. No, instead he chose to go to Disney and other places that he's already been. You know, he'd rather run around and talk about spending over two grand on Harley shirts than actually do something to make content. But then when people don't watch, he bitches and has a tantrum about low view count and uncertainty. And all the while, while he's talking about uncertainty and all this bullshit, he's spending money like it's a non-issue. So then stop crying about money. Mr. Spontaneous, he wanted a dog. He got one, and when it went to shit, he melted down and ran away and sulked because... Everyone was right, and he was wrong, and he knew it. Lately, he's been chattering about a schoolie or a Class A diesel pusher. So, Mr. Spontaneous jumps on the plane, flies to Oregon, and buys a Class C. That's right, you heard me right. Yes, not a schoolie or a Class A like he was yammering about, but a Class C. So now, our little hobbit goes from giddy as a schoolgirl with a crush to a toddler throwing a tantrum. Just like oh, after buying the land, he just now had to throw another fit about people not watching his video. Now, he is somehow under the impression that his cat ladies want to see him take Blossom to Disneyland like he has been there a bazillion times. He thinks his viewers want to hear him talk about the girl that gets kicked off YouTube every few months for, for showing her cookie. So, his answer to things... His big New Year revival was to go buy an RV, of course. Now, I just said he bought a Class C. Again, just kind of a little uh, that much bigger than his. Yeah, anyway, a Class A would have given him, you know, some content, right? If he would have got one of those. He could have torn it shit out and, and ran some screws into some two-by-fours and put up some plywood and, you know, move the water tank and all that other dumb shit he always does to fuck up a good, perfectly good RV. He could have done all that. That'd have been some content, right? But then again, that would have opened up the barrage of theories, right? <laughs> Why did he get a big old class A? <gasps> Is he going to move in blossom? Are they a thing? Are they going to travel together into big class A? You know, that would have been, <laughs> that would have been circulating and you know, it would have, and I wouldn't even had it started. It would have got, it would have got feet of its own. Now, some of you might even probably be thinking that a school bus would have given him tons of content, right? Well, no. Tater is about as handy as a blind man with Parkinson's. He would have had to pay someone to do the build while he ran around buying Mickey shit and got to get back to the kitties. Plus, Mr. I Need It Now would have to have it done immediately. Not only that, but he would then have a bus and an RV along with all the other fucking vehicles and trailers and shit that he got. Cause don't, don't forget he's got a trailer and he's got that weird goofy one that he pulled the tater tot up on and put the motorcycle on. He's got so much shit. He did. I don't know. But anyway, the man that cries about money and oh, what was me? But <laughs> yeah, see now, Tater was so happy with himself for getting a new home. Now he has Frida, his current RV. Now, Tater has zero credit, therefore, has to pay cash for shit. He needs to sell Frida to get some of them funds back, right? Because he, I got this much saved, boom, buy an RV. Uh, I'll just sell this one and get, get that money back, right? In theory, that's how we're going to go. Well, little Veruca Salt, I want it now, Daddy, puts his RV up for sale. He got some offers for 4 and 5K. <laughs> now, it's only been up a short while. But again, I want it now. He has a meltdown. He can't wait for some offers to roll in. No. The first day, I didn't get what I want. I want it now. So he is going to have a meltdown. He's going to throw a tantrum and have... A fucking meltdown. Now our little adult toddler flips out and says he will live stream him burning his RV and make more money from that 
than the people were offering for his RV. It's got this and that. <laughs> He's beside himself. He's on edge. He's just all red in the face and you know how he gets. But then on camera, hi guys, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Mr. Spontaneous is selling Frida as is. Well, just because Tater wants to rip everything out of an RV and make it his, doesn't mean anyone else will appreciate his shitty aesthetic and slap together bullshit. Some people may just want a couch, eh, not covered in cat hair, and a dinette. Not everyone is a loner and part of the He-Man Woman Haters Club. And just because Tater's paranoid and has 20 cameras and a security system with a uh, app that you have to pay for, doesn't mean anyone else sees the need for all that bullshit. Just because Tater has a $12,000 solar system doesn't mean others need or want all that. I mean, when I say solar systems are expensive, I'm always told, you can get a total set up for a thousand bucks and you're just full of shit. So which one is it? Is the shit expensive or is it dirt cheap? Come on. Tater's so damn delusional, he thinks his check mark makes it so people will fight over buying a piece of nomadic fanatic history. You see that little check mark? Not everyone is looking for a beer-soaked RV filled with cat hair, burger grease, and pizza crumbs. Not only that, but people have seen the shady shit that you have done. And people have watched you look into the camera and lie your ass off with a straight face. People saw what you did to that elderly couple years ago. People remember you laughing when one of those guys that just happened to annoy you too much died. You, you laughed. People saw it. People know you are buddies with and support the mobile gambler. When you document everything, just because you delete some of the unsavory things and bullshit you pulled, it's still out there somewhere. You may be able to delete some of your past wrongdoings, but you can't erase people's memories. You may have some of those deadered rats in Arizona fooled, but guess what, buddy? They ain't buying your RV either. This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud. 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 Loud.